Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And I gotta say, sometimes job listings can give you so much insight into what a company is working on. And kind of coincidentally, this is my second job-related video this week. Earlier on in the week, a couple days ago, I mentioned that uh, Godot is actually a skill being sought after at one of the Tesla companies out there. So if you wanted to work at Tesla, potentially having Godot Engine on your resume could be a good skill to have. But today's news, today's news is, I guess, a little bit more, pun not intended, epic. This is actually giving you some pretty good insights into the future of Unreal Engine. And I'm now over at the Unreal Engine or the Epic Games job recruiting board. And there's a lot of jobs open right now. And I'm talking, there's 179 jobs available right now. But one of them in particular really stands out. And it's this one right here. So they are looking for a technical director for Unreal Engine slash cloud. And it's out of Edinburgh in Scotland. So there's a couple of reasons why that is really relevant. And we will get back to that in just a second. You'll also notice there is a very technical hands-on job here also engine programmer, also out of Edinburgh, which is kind of interesting because the majority of engine development, I actually thought all happened out of North Carolina, but nonetheless, they seem to really be recruiting in this one area of Edinburgh, and there's a very good reason for that. But first, we're going to take a look at the details of this technical director job. Now, if you don't know, a technical director is important. Basically, a technical director normally owns something. So you might have a technical director for rendering or for um, cloud ops or for um, R&D or whatever kind of things like that. It's, it's a pretty high level position. And what they're looking for here is out of a number of different locations in Europe. It's amazing how many spots that uh, Epic Games now has offices. And you can see some of these make sense. For example, I believe Berlin is a sales office. Uh, but Helinski, for example, they got from acquiring Quixel. And Edinburgh, they got from acquiring another company, which again, teasing you, but we will get back to that in a second. But the key thing about this particular job is this paragraph right here. So what will you do as technical director? As technical director focused on Unreal Engine running in the cloud, you will be responsible for architectural guidance and supervising execution to make Unreal Engine more effective or more efficient, sorry, in the cloud. Add cloud-based collaboration on our Unreal Engine-based products and help ship the next generation of tools like the recently announced MetaHuman Creator. Now, MetaHuman Creator is a really cool tool for creating like realistic, like past the uncanny value uh, quality human models. Models. And I actually demoed that a couple weeks ago, uh, but uh, it is actually a front end that you use to configure your, your characters, but all of the processing is done on supercomputers on the back end. And that's kind of a, an indicator of what we are looking at here, but it seems like they're going to be moving more and more of Unreal Engine itself into the cloud. And that is pretty interesting. Now, there's a couple of other insights we're going to see here from this one. So in the role, you'll be an active participant in defining the vision and roadmap for Unreal uh, Cloud Service, I'm guessing that stands for. Um, but work with the technical directors and leads to deliver the products and business objectives uh, on time and quality. Be a technical leader, guide and sign off on the architecture of Unreal Engine based products running in the cloud. Uh, so that there's no ambiguity there. This is literally talking about Unreal Engine in the cloud, not Unreal Cloud Services. I know that one can get a little bit confusing. We'll get back to that in a minute. But this is about Unreal Engine, the core rendering team, Unreal Engine side of things. Um, in order to get this job, you need to have all kinds of experience, including, you know, you're a strong C++ programmer, 10 years of engineering experience, and so on. But what I find really interesting and insightful here is you need to be able to build an engineering team from scratch. What that tells us is this ain't happening tomorrow. This is probably not happening in Unreal Engine 5. This is happening down the road. So this is really early on and it's in a startup type environment. So uh, in, in this scenario, we're not looking like the next release of Unreal Engine is going to be cloud-based. And I don't think we'll ever see Unreal Engine being exclusive to the cloud-based. But what I think we're going to see is more and more uh, of the demands of Unreal Engine are, are growing beyond the capabilities of consumer class hardware. So to start offloading more and more workloads into the cloud. That is my guess anyways. So uh, why is this all based out of Edinburgh? Well, the best reason I can come up with is a company that they bought back in 2018 called Cloud Gene. So uh, this was January of 2018, Epic Games acquired Cloud Gene, fully owned subsidiary. They were founded in 2012. I believe the guy that founded it was one of the original Grand Theft Auto creators. Uh, they deliver massive compute power to real-time interactive content from games to virtual reality and enterprise applications. Uh, historically, they're probably most famous for doing the, um, remember Microsoft Azure for games? They this big thing about how uh, Crackdown 3 had this physics simulation that you could only do on supercomputers in the cloud using Azure Compute. Well, that 
was powered by Cloud Gene. So uh, they've been a fully owned division of Unreal Engine. And I think this is basically where they are building the team out of. So they are recruiting for Cloud Gene's offices in Edinburgh, Scotland, at least they were two years ago. So that seems to be where this is all based out of, but they've got a number of different offices in the UK as well. So this Cloud Gene purchase seems to be the, the, the seed from which Unreal Engine Cloud services are coming from. And I'm imagining that they're somehow involved with the make human uh, or um, Oh, what was it called? MetaHuman Creator uh, announcement we had just the last week. Uh, so this seems to be why the job is based out of Edinburgh, Scotland. This seems to be the core of the team and the technologies and such, the cloud-based expertise that Unreal Engine are using to grow Unreal Engine into that space. Now, go on back here a little bit more just to kind of prove that we were talking about Unreal Engine, the core engine itself. We look at the other job position out of Edinburgh. You'll see here we have an engine uh, programmer position. So this seems to be the same division. Again, it's Edinburgh again, and this is more of a, a I, I won't call it a junior position, but this would be below the technical director. And in this position, what you will do is be as an engine programmer in the Unreal Cloud services, you will work on the Unreal Engine code base to optimize performance on cloud hardware, integrate, integrate cloud technologies like pixel streaming and help teams building UE based apps. So they fully support running inside a cloud infrastructure. So that leaves no ambiguity. They are looking to bring Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine tooling, Unreal Engine itself into the cloud. Pretty interesting. And come down here and see kind of the skills that they are looking for. Again, they are treating this like a startup type position. Uh, it's it's definitely interesting. Now, another core thing to understand about the jobs that are currently being offered is we go back here and we start looking at some of these. Okay, well, why do we have cloud development engineers in Bellevue, Washington, for example? You're going to see there's a number. There's information analysts in Bellevue, Washington, and so on. Well, the key thing here, Bellevue, Washington seems to be developing the Epic Game Online services. Those are things like matchmaking, uh, leaderboards, in-app purchases, all of that kind of stuff. That is a different team. So if you're trying to confuse, if you're wondering, okay, well, that's what they mean by bringing Unreal Engine to the cloud is those kind of things. Nope, that is a completely separate service. So these guys, the guys in Washington are working on cloud infrastructure, DevOps, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's where the kind of distinction between the two come from. So basically, this TD and engine uh, programmer jobs that just went up a couple days ago, those are about porting Unreal Engine, the Unreal Engine tool chain, Unreal Engine as you and I think about it, to the cloud. Whereas these ones in Washington, those are about cloud-based services, kind of like the competitor to things like uh Amazon Web Services, that, that's kind of the, the analog there. Uh, on top of that, there's a ton of jobs going on that are quite interesting. So I, this Holinsky one, for example, is looking for, uh, there's one here for anti-cheat, uh, which I don't know why they would be doing that out of the Quixel office, but that's what they're doing. And then uh, the MetaHumans that we just looked at, which I, again, I would have thought the Edinburgh-based office was responsible for, because they, they literally listed it in the job description, uh, that they're hiring a tools programmer for it out of North Carolina, which is where uh, the head office for Unreal Engine is. So it does seem like they are very uh, distributed around the world. The cool thing about these positions too, is if you're actually thinking about applying, is it looks like pretty much anywhere in Europe would actually work, but it's not really about the job itself, it's what they are hiring for, and that is to bring Unreal Engine into the cloud. And I hate to say it, but I think this is just a natural progression. The, the complexities that Unreal Engine solve are slowly moving beyond what consumer class hardware is probably capable of. And instead of you know having to build your own clusters and bring things in-house and have that kind of tooling, it probably makes more sense to use a cloud-based environment to do so. And it'd be even more impressive if Epic Games somehow keeps making that stuff either free or really, really affordable because uh, it's just going to make it more and more enticing to use Unreal Engine. But realistically, I do think the cloud is the future. I know a lot of people are, are hesitant in that reality, uh, but that seems to be the case. Now, I don't think it will ever be exclusively the future. You're never going to have to fire up your browser in order to go use Unreal Engine. But I do think that idea is kind of cool. So you could actually collaborate with anyone, work from anywhere. You don't need to have Uber class hardware to get your Unreal Engine local install working. That would be kind of a sweet little future. So uh, that is what we are looking at, is definitely about bringing Unreal Engine to the cloud. And in some ways, it's actually this engine programmer more so than the technical director. So basically, this is the boss for this position. But this one kind of gives it away. This one basically straight out says that you are working on bringing the Unreal Engine code base to optimize performance on cloud hardware, integrate cloud technologies uh, so they can fully support running inside a cloud infrastructure. Yep, 100%. They're looking to bring Unreal Engine into the cloud. What do you think about that? Let me know in comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.